We're going back to the Borders Distillery today to see how distilleries are filling the gap in hand sanitizer production during the coronavirus pandemic. So let's go! Now let's be clear on one thing. Washing your hands with soap and water will clean your hands much better than using hand sanitizer. I mean, if your hands look like this, you can pour a whole bottle of hand sanitizer on them. But then you'll just have wasted a whole bottle of hand sanitizer. And you're still going to need to wash your hands with soap and water to get them clean. Hand sanitizer is just something you use if you don't have access to soap and water. Like if you're in the middle of the woods and have just taken a leak or if it isn't feasible for you to be constantly washing your hands with soap and water, say if you're a healthcare worker on the front lines. When something is in scarce supply, its value goes up and people tend to want it more, even if they might not really need it. Which is what we see happening with items such as toilet paper, hand sanitizer, and self-raising flour. I'm still waiting to get my hands on a bag. Chances are, if your country is in lockdown and you're at home only going out to get essentials like medicine and groceries, you really don't need to be using profuse amounts of hand sanitizer because you've got easy access to soap and water at home. So remember, before you stock up on hand sanitizer, you may be preventing healthcare professionals on the front lines from accessing it. And really, who do you think needs that sanitizer more? A person at home in lockdown or a health professional who's interacting with potentially infected people every day. Distilleries around the world have stepped up to fill the gap in production of hand sanitizers. And it's no different here at the Borders Distillery. So let's hear a bit more about this from John, one of the co-founders of the distillery. So about a week ago, mm -hmm. uh, we got the go ahead from the Scottish government uh, to produce for our local community some hand sanitizer based on a World Health Organization recipe using the ethanol that we're making as we carry on with our production um, and we mix it up with improved ingredients and we're handing it out to community groups, the mental health service, the fire service, the funeral service, some of the doctor services uh, to enable them to carry on uh, with their frontline roles. And what made you decide to start making the hand sanitizer? It's just to identify the community need. We are making ethanol every day. There's a shortage in the supply chain. The big distillers have stepped up to, f to deal with the national picture. Uh, the smaller distillers based in their local communities can do a lot to alleviate the immediate pressure. Uh, and that's what we've been yeah, we feel very honoured to be able to do it and we've, we've been able to help a lot of people. Uh, and how many bottles do you think you've made so far? So we, I think we've done 215 as of this morning. And do you have any plans in the future to sell the hand sanitizer at a profit? No, this is only for the uh, community and it's for the bits of the community that are operating with the vulnerable. We have no interest in being in the hand sanitizer business, and we certainly don't want to um, make money out of it. Does it surprise you that many distilleries around the world have stepped up and started creating their own hand sanitizers? It doesn't surprise me. Uh, we've got the perfect uh, ingredient. The key thing is alcohol, mm -hmm. ethyl alcohol, over 70% ABV. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the distilling business, you've got that. Mm -hmm. The rest of it is relatively easy to get hold of. The guidelines are simple. The governments have been really good at just making it nice and easy for little businesses to comply. Mm -hmm. um, so no, I'm not surprised at all. Okay. Here at the Borders Distillery, we're making a very, very, very small quantity of hand sanitizer, especially when compared to the likes of William Grant & Sons, who are set to produce 5 million liters of ethanol in the next few weeks to supply hand sanitizer manufacturers with. So here is how we make our small batches of hand sanitizer. We take the spirit that comes off the spirit stills here. 
The spirit is around 72% alcohol. And if you'd like to learn more about how our new make spirit is made, I've linked those videos above here. Anywho, we take our new make spirit and mix in some glycerol and some hydrogen peroxide. Our sanitizer is made based off the WHO guidelines. The alcohol content in the spirit is the important bit, as that's what kills the germs. It needs to be at least 60% alcohol or more to be effective at killing germs. Alcohol on its own is extremely drying to the skin and could result in chapped and cracked skin if applied regularly to the skin on its own. That's why we mix our spirit with glycerol, which acts as a moisturizing agent. The hydrogen peroxide inactivates any contaminating bacterial spores in the solution. Once it's all mixed together, we'll put it in these bottles, screw on the hand pump top, label them, and there you have it. They're ready to be delivered to local care homes and to frontline workers who need it most. So that's how we've been turning our spirit into hand sanitizer here at the distillery. And it's great to see distilleries worldwide pulling together to do their bit to fill the need in production. I hope everybody is keeping safe at home and not stockpiling on hand sanitizer because there's already a shortage. Our distillery receives phone calls every day from local care homes, healthcare professionals, and other frontline workers who put themselves at risk every day on the job. So think about whether you really need more hand sanitizer or whether you can use soap and water instead. I hope you liked this video and if you did, give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more distilling and distillery videos. This is Brew Bird reporting to you from the Borders Distillery, Scotland. I'll see you next time!